an exam for the second week of Lent. Whoever wishes to be great among you must be your servant, and whoever wishes to be first among you must be your slave, just as the Son of Man come not to be served but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. How do I serve? I absorb my culture's values and I recognise that I am too much focused on myself and my needs. I want to absorb the values of Christ, so I ask Christ to shed light on my efforts to serve. How do I connect with others? How do I serve their needs? How can I do better? I choose to follow Christ, but I know I cannot even start without the light of the Holy Spirit. Give thanks. I thank God for this day, for my life and for all I am, and have for his word. Pray for light. I ask the Father to let me see my day as the Holy Spirit sees it and to show, what, to show me what I need to see. Find God. I look at my day in the light of the Spirit. I look back over the morning, the afternoon and the evening. Who talked with me or worked with me? Did I get what I meant to do or leave things out? Have I followed my own path? Have I done what everyone does? Anything wrong? Did something go bad? Is my work incomplete? I feel the sorrow of painful situations that I cannot change. What now? I look forward and hope. Where do I need God? You stood, Lord Jesus, your head bowed, looking down at the ground, while they laid and drenched through facets of falsehood. Then, when you said the truth one more time, they tore their garments, pulled their hair, and yelled their throats raw, cursing you. Lord Jesus, defend me from my own lies. I know with all my heart that you are Christ. I know that you suffered for my sins. I wish I could break through my heart with sorrow over this. If I do not know how, visit me and show me. Lord of compassion, share your passion with me. I am afraid to ask, but I still say it. Amen. Examining the day and choosing freedom. If you make this prayer at night, look back over the day to examine what you did or did not do. You could remember by periods or hour by hour, or one activity at a time. If you make the exam in the early morning, look back over yesterday and forward into today. Another way to do the exam is to focus on one act or one attitude, one virtue or vice. The exam is about choosing freedom. We ask that the characteristic habits that mark or maybe hamper our spiritual freedom. Actions do not harm us spiritually because the commandments forbid them. The commandments forbid them because they harm us. God's commands are to protect our freedom and expand it. The self-examination in this prayer means proclaiming our own freedom. It begins with naming the strengths and gifts that God gives us. Our gifts tell us what God hopes in us. Our lasting freedom lies in the living the gifts, each and all of the gifts that God gives us. Any idea that they examine it's a self-centered exercise is mistaken. First, because we live in relationships, we cannot ourselves expect in our relationships. And second, because the very gifts we are thanking God for and examining are gifts given, not for ourselves alone, but for those whom God gives us to and gives to us. This is what Jesus meant by fulfilling the law. We obey it and out of love for our God, for our neighbour and for ourselves.